Join us now. It's time for the live broadcast on KPUC Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a grand and glorious performance of the Hollywood Matchmaker game. It's for you, baby. I see you looking at me. Hup, hup. Oh, hey there, Kevin. The Hi there, Mr. Mayor. Here we go, rolling in for the life of the rock time. Extraordinary is even more than one that I've asked there, Kevin. You're awesome. Awesome. Daily Reels, I've been keeping a surprise from you. Oh, really? Is it a pony? It's better than a pony. What's going to be better than a pony? Oh. <laughs> Your future. My future? Your future. Does it look bright or dim? Oh, better than bright. Well, then what could it possibly be, sir? How many broadcasts of this game show have you participated in? 732, sir. Now, that's right. And this will be the last. What? That's not, that's not good news at all. Oh, it's great news because from now on, we will no longer be on the radio. We'll be on television. Yes. Television? That'll never take off. Oh, okay. Television, Kevin. Television. Yes. <laughs> the radio is all the rage. Television is not anything right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I see a day when people won't leave a house without a TV in their hand. You, little street urchin. You right there. The street urchin. In the gutter. In the gutter. You have a television <laughs> set at home. How many? Okay, what? this street urchin has four television sets. Well, that must be nice. I'm telling you, it's going to be big, big, big. And as such, we're going to celebrate with Kevin. Kevin, hand that camera over oh. to your lovely bride, oh. whoever she is. Me? Yes, Kevin. Me? Kevin, I want you to sit right there. Let's have applause for Kevin. Come on! Kevin! Kevin, sit right there. Kevin. We are going to test your love on this, your fifth anniversary. Because three eligible bachelorettes are going to fight for your love, your attention, right here on KBUT Radio on what we call the Hollywood Matchmaker Game! Applause, applause, applause! We're here with Kevin, 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 who comes to us all the way from Youngstown, Ohio. Kevin from Ohio! Youngstown. 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 Alright, alright. And what do you do there for a living legally? I own websites. He owns websites! Whatever that is, that's fantastic in Ohio. Well, Kevin, this is a lucky day. We have only one rule you must follow. And my line producer, Daily Reels, will tell you what that one and only one rule is. Yes, Kevin, there is one and only one rule here at the Hollywood Matchmaker game. Kevin! Yes. Kevin! Yes! Kevin! Is that you? Yes. No, it's, I'm back here! Oh. Kevin! Yes. Don't ever do that again! Yes. No, 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 no. Our only rule is that you, whatever happens, no matter how these ladies may tempt you, yeah. no matter how many pheromones waft your way, yeah. you must stay looking forward the whole time or I will be forced to cut you! Get right with daily! From the game! Okay, that sounded horrible. All right, sit down, sit down, and now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to meet our three eligible bachelorettes, starting with bachelorette number one. Bachelorette number one is, oh, oh my, she is coming all the way from across the street in her... Hey, Mr. Okay, hello, yes. Hey, Mr. Come yes, please come Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for bachelorette number one. Come on, come on. Bachelor. Oh, you said that there was going to be a bachelor out here. Oh my gosh, he moves so fast like a ninja. Yes. <laughs> and you can see him standing here, and then all of a sudden, there he was. Anna? Oh, what's his name? His name is Kevin. Kevin from? Ohio. Oh, my God. Hello, Kevin from Ohio. It's me, bachelorette number one. Hello, Hello bachelorette number one. Wow. Kevin's a firecracker. He's a grunter. I love people from Ohio. Okay, Doug, could you go back, please? Give her a pause, bachelor number one. Well, now that ain't all 
Come on out here, bachelor number two. That's right, number two is a saucy number in red. Oh, yeah. Saucy number two. 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 Saucy She's bringing our very own Sophia Loren for the day, right there, but that's not all, last but not least. It's time for our celebrity, our beauty oh, guest, who's coming up, no, our star. Sidebar, sidebar, sidebar. No, I don't know. Judy Garland couldn't make it. Why can't she lie? She had a big hair egg last night. She fell off the wagon. Again! Again! Bring out whoever we got. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's Bachelorette number three. <laughs> She was oh. the only person who responded to our Craigslist ad. Ha! <laughs> ladies and uh, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for something entirely different. Put your hands Who's together for the first whiff of the Hey, hey, hey! What's his name? His name is Kevin Fremohile. Oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> hey, Kevin. I'm, I'm Bachelorette number three. You call yourself the bachelor, I must ask. Will you accept this rose? Oh, oh shameless, put on the mark. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. A hand for all of our bachelorettes. Give them all a pause. All of them. Woo! The Hollywood match making it. And now, right there. Daily Reels came up with three questions that you and you will ask alone. Your loud and proud voice over our KPTU microphone so everyone from Van Nuys to Valencia can hear you zims and a bim and hex a pop and what is the first question? <coughs> I have a sweet tooth. I have a cavity. If, if you were a dessert, what would you be and why? Good a very question. insightful question, Bachelor at number one. If you were a dessert, which one would you be and why? Kevin, it's me, Bachelor at number one. Say, Kevin, if I were a dessert, I would definitely be a candy bar. Why? I would be a candy bar because um, I, I would never snicker at you. <laughs> I would always give you kisses. Oh, and if you chose me, it would be my big payday. You never see this. Woo! What's wrong with you? Go back. And now for something sultry and sensational. Bats are at number two. I'm showing Kevin, you like a dessert, huh? Oh, yeah, it's just I'd like a dessert. So, I like whoa, whoa. a dessert. Okay, so if I was a dessert, Kevin, I would be a red velvet cake. Uh, why, why a red velvet cake? <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Say that again. Wow. Why a red velvet cake? That yeah, making it so much easier for me. Kevin's been studying the script. Is it because it's full of cheese, right? But it's all rich on the inside. Oh, a veritable femme fatale. How about a hand for bachelorette number two? And now, look up, look out. Here comes bachelorette number three. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? This is not a hoochie coochie bar. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I wish I'd go. What do you call that dance? A pleasant surprise! Oh. Which is the same thing my parents call me! Okay, please, could we be on live on the radio, okay, please, please? Okay. Uh, Kevin, yeah. if I were to be a dessert for you, yeah. the dessert I would be would, would have to be the, the much loved yet underappreciated fruit salad! <laughs> Why the, I'm with him. Why the fruit salad? Yellow salad. Everybody loves like that. Okay. Okay, because people have said that I'm fruity on the top, but jiggly on the bottom. Okay. Right. Okay. Please, jump back. What's wrong with you? And that's us on the Hollywood match. We're going to give an applause for all of our bachelors. And now we're from our sponsor, Danny Samus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this portion of the Hollywood Matchmaker game is brought to you by Rosie the Riveter's Red Hot Hot Dogs. Rosie the Riveter. Rosie the Riveter's Red Hot Hot Dogs, located right here on Sunset Boulevard. Rosie's Red Hot Hot Dogs. The war's over, ladies, so get back to the kitchen. And we're back on the Hollywood Matchmaker game. You nice lady right there in our studio audience. I need you to help Kevin out. What do you think Kevin should know about Bachelorette number one? Very yes, she is. And what about bachelorette number two? Sultry. Sultry bachelorette number three? 
first girl next door. Okay, I love you. Well done. And now, drum roll for Kevin. The second question is, loud and proud, Kevin, with your radio-like voice. Yeah. I want someone who's going places. If you were a mode of transportation, what would you be and why? Another insightful question, Bachelor. Right, number one, roll on in your honey and tell him why. Mode of transportation. Are you choking? That's a great song of love. Kevin, it's me, Bachelorette number one. Kevin, if I were a mode Transportation, that's French for transportation. I would be the loved hot dog cart. Why? I would be the loved hot dog cart because our love would always hit it out of the ballpark. I would always be frank with you. Frank. <laughs> you are in second trouble. Frank. If you chose me, I'd be the big wiener. Get up now! Don't encourage this, all right, please. She's completely out of control. That's right, number two. Come on out here. Say it. Say it. Hello. Buongiorno again, Ken. We meet again. If I was in mode of transportation, I would be the red Ferrari. The red Ferrari. Pie. See, because like a Ferrari, you know, it breaks down uh, every six months, and uh, it's very hard to find my parts. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. There she is. As I said, so did you see what you've done here? Did you see the lovely... All right, now come on. You. You. Remember, we are on the radio, and there are lots of orphans in the gutter. All right, please, stop that. I'm a Presbyterian. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that dance? A happy accident. Which is the same thing my parents call me! Okay! Frank, before I answer this question, I would like to give you half of this love coupon. Uh, you will get the other half when you choose me, bachelorette number three today. And that never expires. It's also flame retardant and waterproof. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> How many have you ever redeemed? Okay. Um, that remains to be seen. Okay, please. Okay. Question. Question, dear. What mode of transportation would you be for Kevin and why? Kevin, if I were a mode of transportation for you, the mode of transportation I would be for you, my love, Kevin, would be a bicycle. Why? Why? Um, well, because I'm old enough to handle bars. And if we were to ever get into a lover's quarrel, yeah. I would never leave in a huffy. Yeah. And... If we were quarreling, I would always let you swim. Okay, all right, please. How about applause for all of our bachelorettes right here on the Hollywood Night Trigger game? Right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let, remind me, let me remind you that this broadcast is brought to you by the law offices of Dewey, Cheatham and Howe. Dewey, Cheatham and Howe, which will take care of all of your lawful needs. Your prenups, your marital agreements, your, um, your restraining orders. All right, yes! Brought to you by Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. Remember, our motto is marriage is grand, divorce is a hundred grand! And now, Kevin, it's time for the last question. You've done extremely well. Kevin from Ohio, website owner, it's come to this magical moment. What is the last question? I love animals. If you were an animal, what kind would you be and why? Okay, I'm frightened, but the answer to this, let me have it. Come on, Bachelor at number one. Come on, work it. What is that noise you're making? Yeah, it's my, my love mating call for Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, if I were an animal, I would be the oh so romantic of all animals. I would be the beloved sea otter. Because Why? like the sea otter, I too can crack open clams on my belly. <laughs> and I'd be the sea otter because one look at me and you'll see why you otter pick me. That's enough. <laughs> Give her applause. Bachelor number one. Bachelor number two. Clean Ooh. this up. Come on, darling. Oh, like a panther purveying her prey. <laughs> Kevin. Yes. Yes. Bachelor yes. number two. Oh, fuck. If I were an animal, I would be what you call a cheetah. A cheetah? See. Si. Hi. Well, 
If you ever cheat on me, oh, I would run after you and find you and hunt you down. Does that cost extra? Yes, it costs extra. Give them both a pause. Go back. That's a promise and a threat. That was right. She's not kidding around her now. Last but not least, could you please, please bring some decorum to this show. That's right, number three. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Kevin. Oh, hello. If I were to be an animal for you, Kevin, the animal that I would be would be the, the ever majestic eagle. Really? Why? Yes, because because through the through the winding road of life, I would be willing to wing it with you. Oh. And and every day I would be telling you I love you. And 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 when we're when you choose me today and and we're married, yes. we're married ten days from now, and uh, you go to sleep and then you wake up in the morning and you're in your twin bed across the room and I'm in my twin bed and I wake up a little earlier than you and I look at you and I think I want to get together and I walk over and I don't even care that you have stinky morning breath. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna come over as the eagle I am and I'm gonna give you a pet. Oh, okay, there we go. That, that bizarre and romantic and patriotic. Go sit down. How about applause for all of our bachelorettes on the Hollywood Ring again? Yeah. Right here, right now. All right, all right, all right then. You. Yo, yeah, you, you. I want you to help Kevin out. What does Kevin need to know about bachelorette number one? Tell us, tell us, tell us. She does have a great personality. What about bachelorette number two? Um, I'd watch out for her. Okay. And bachelor number three? No. Okay! Okay. But let's ask our studio uh, audience why you endorsement of bachelorette number three. By your rounds of applause, what do you think about Kevin selecting bachelorette number one? Applaud now. Respectful bachelorette number two. Applaud now. Respectful bachelorette number three. Applaud now. Oh, these people don't like Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, in all of your glory, I must ask you now. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank is you. it going to be bachelorette number one? Bachelorette number two? No, bachelorette number three? I, I have a coupon, so I think it'll have to be bachelorette number three. Yay! Yay! Let's meet the bachelorette he did not select, or we call the losers. Oh, with bachelorette number one. She might be left-handed, but she's always right. As Hollywood's leading gossip columnist, put your hands together for Chloe Kanal! Hey, Kevin, is the last look yet? Well, I don't think he's over there. I completely fell in love with you, and I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't know what I'm going to do or how I'm going to live. Or... I'm fine. Okay, all right. <laughs> And now, Kevin, the other match right who did not select. She is a femme fatale, our lady in red, reeking with talent and glory. Put your hands together for Phoebe Bazaar! Oh. Hello, Kevin. It's okay. <clears throat> if it doesn't work out with number three, <clears throat> you'll find me in Italy. Okay? okay, all right, all right. How about applause for Bachelorette number two there and now, and now. The one you selected. She's a new gal in town, rather like a whimsical tablecloth, if you know what I mean. I hope you'll be very happy with this new gal in town, everybody's favorite girl Friday. Put your hands together for Betty Shambles! As we say in Hollywood, go forth, go famous, go fabulous here at Disney's Hollywood Studio! Is this a, a picture for the paper? Oh, sure. Engagement photo. About 20 love coupons. I don't know what you're talking about. 
which one you picture. Huh? I don't know which one you take a picture with. Yeah, but I'm gonna go this is it. So we can, um, Kevin, thank you for being here. Oh, we got a fast for you guys. No. Is it just you two to get a happy anniversary? Thank you. So we can get you a fast pass for Toy Story. Yeah. Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, or Star Tour. Toy Story. Toy Story is going to be your longest line, so that was smart choice. Shelby Mayer, and you, you're the man. Oh, thank and you so much. Lewis, and Jim, and Zip, and Jerry. What's your last name? A you need to know that I am spoken for. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Archie Diacono, so you get it. So you can take this. That, yep, that's for you guys for today. You can keep that. And all you have to do is go to Toy Story and hand them that at the front line, and you can bypass the whole line, okay? Is this okay. one time? Good just one time. Okay, today. I'll take it. Okay. Hey, you know what? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. You no, did that. No problem. Thanks for being here. What a great, great time. No, Shelby Marin's the best. That's why we you. like having fun with our guests. Yeah, thank you. It was Happy a great anniversary, time. guys. Thank, thank you. you. So kind. I hope you have a yeah, great week ahead. Thank you. I, hope, I hope somebody does something nice for you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Hey, you stop it, honey. Wow. Press the, the red yeah, button. How awesome. Thank you.